There are two words. One is biography and second is autobiography. In the past tense, first of all, you're going to use second form of the verb. If you're going to talk about any continued action in the past, for that, you're going to use used to. People went out to stone the satin. Shaitan ko kankriya maar rahe thi aur hum dono bhai apne maa baap pe reet phenk rahe the. Always try to be a student and don't try to be a follower. Now, let me tell you one thing. You always remember the teachers that you like. Today, we are going to talk about your autobiography. You must be surprised. Wow. And I came up with this idea today morning while brushing my teeth. I'm going to go to Kasim Ali Shah Foundation. What are we going to do today and all that. So then I realized that we are going to have uh, autobiography. There are two words. One is biography and second is autobiography. Biography is your life story. Bio, you know, bio and graphy like photography. Now you're not going to say biography, photography. What will you say? Biography, photography. Okay. So this is going to be your auto. Auto means self. Autobiography, your life story. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to tell me your life story, right? And in order to tell me your life story, which tense are you going to use? Obviously, the past tense. So autobiography is your life story and you're going to talk about your life. And uh, you will not tell me everything. Okay, once I asked the students to describe their daily routine and one person started from the washroom. Don't tell me everything for God's sake. Okay, so you just need to tell me some highlighted points of your life. Some important happenings of your life. Wow, I'm enjoying. You know, after one and a half month, I'm here and I'm talking to you. So literally, I'm feeling very happy that I'm talking to you. Thank God I love my work and I enjoy my job. So anyways, autobiography, the first sentence would be I was born. And then wherever you were born, that's it. Then move on. And then you can talk about your early childhood, how you were, any, anything special about that. Then you will talk about your schooling. Then you will talk about your uh, university life or your college life and any contribution, any distinction, any achievement that you've made so far, you will talk about that. Okay, now, in order to express yourself like this, you're going to use past tense. In the past tense, first of all, you're going to use second form of the verb. For example, I was born. I was born. This is past tense, right? When I was small, when I was small, was verb will be used. Okay, now, if you're going to talk about any habit, of the past. If you're going to talk about any continued action in the past, for that, you're going to use used to. For example, I used to be very naughty in my childhood. I tell you about myself. My mother used to beat me a lot. <laughs> yeah, when I was small, because you know, uh, I went to perform Hajj, mashallah. And me and my younger brother, from this comment, you can understand what sort of a child I was. People went out to stone the satin. Shaitan ko kankriya maar rahe thi aur hum dono bhai apne maa baap pe reet phenk rahe thi. Midan air fat mein all that, okay? So, you know, such bad children, you know, sometimes they start throwing things at parents and all that. My mother still remembers that uh, you both were doing this thing to us, okay? But anyways, so you will say, when I was small, I used to. I used to means main... Kia karta tha. I used to go to school by van, or my father used to drop me school. I used to go to school on my own, right? I used to be a naughty child. You can use used to. Otherwise, throughout this story, you're going to use second form of the verb. Now, one more thing. If you want to talk about two consecutive events of the past, one after other. For example, if you say, when I, I was admitted in school, my brother had finished his education. When I got admitted in school, my brother had finished his education. So brother had finished his education. It means one action took place before. For example, when I say, today when I reached here, you guys had come. 
I reached later, you came before me. So when there are two actions, the action that happens before, for that you will use past perfect tense. So past simple, past perfect, past continuous, used to, right? And speak pleasantly, above all. Don't talk about the poras of your life. Yeah? <laughs> okay, you understand what I mean? Don't talk about the... Uh, the, the bitter real, bitter things of your life, talk about pleasant things. And by the way, the bitter thing of the past is the pleasant thing of today. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. The teacher, I, I'm, I'm telling you proudly, my mother used to beat me. That time I used to cry a lot. Once my mother locked me into the washroom. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I, I was a big actor as well. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. My mother opened the door and then <laughs> She gave me an apple and all that. So I was once I was at school, what happened at that time, my teacher, he used to beat the children, right? So he actually slapped on my back and I fell on the ground. And then he called some other boys, hey, come here. And he gave me water, he gave me protocol. He said, don't tell your parents. I said, uh, I said what happened? He said, sir, you hit on my back and it hurt on my heart. And the teacher was so scared and it was all acting. Okay, <laughs> so I was such type of child and I used to do all these things. Got it? So you need to talk about things pleasantly, but unfortunately the problem is that you have only 90 seconds to do that all. So you will summarize the ideas. You will talk about only the highlighted points, right? And within one minute, one and a half minute, you're going to finish it all. And again, I say, you know, if you are interested in what you are saying, everybody will be interested. And if you are not interested, nobody will be interested. So how to show interest? As you speak, you need to enjoy. You need to laugh with your audience. You need to smile at them if there is something funny. So then they are going to actually give you back all these feelings. All good? Okay, now I give you a couple of minutes for preparation. And basically the topic is your life story. Autobiography, first sentence, I was born and then move on, okay? Just write down some points. Now, don't write pages. If you come over here and I say you have written pages, I will take away your notebook. Don't write pages. Just write down the points. For example, you can divide your autobiography as per age group. For example, when I was an infant, age group 5 to 8, 8 to 10, something like that, okay? Please start. Just outline it and then we go on. All right. Uh, well, there are two things. One is a student. Second is a follower. Do you know the difference? Student and follower so now are you a student or are you a follower student. student always try to be a student and don't try to be a follower when you become a follower then you are blindly following someone and all that and when you are student you realize what is good and what is bad all good Okay, if I ask you about the list of good teachers, your favorite teachers in your life, how many do you have? 5,000 teachers? 1,000 teachers? 500 good teachers in your life? How many? Three. And in Pakistan, we've got more than a million teachers. So how many teachers have got their impression on you? Only two to three teachers. Now, let me tell you one thing. You always remember the teachers that you like. You, you never remember other teachers. There would be some other teachers and you didn't have any emotional attachment. So you don't remember those teachers, right? And one more thing. If out of so many teachers throughout your life, you have only three, four teachers, it means we are actually lacking good people, right? So we are lacking Good people. So if there are good people around, remember there are two types of people in our world, especially in Pakistan. One is who is lighting the candle. From one candle to another, 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 another. And the second type of person is always behind that person who is extinguishing the candle. <laughs> <laughs> right? So one is lighting the candle and other is extinguishing the candle. And the people who light the candle they are mostly followed by the people who try to extinguish the candle, right? So 
if you have a role model in your life, I mean, you, you, let me tell you one thing. Like, for example, if there is a teacher and someone starts criticizing that teacher and he teacher, that teacher is expert in his field. And if you start criticizing that teacher, it means you are actually going to leave him out of your life. And then you are left with nothing. Okay, so just try to support the people who are lighting the candle and try to stop the people who are extinguishing the candle. And by the way, are you the ones who are lighting the candle or extinguishing the candle? Right? Exactly. So, you know, there are always uh, actually, you know, people after those who are lighting the candle. So in your, I mean, as far as you are concerned, you should be the ones, if you cannot light the candle, at least you can put your hands so that the candle doesn't extinguish and all that. Have you noticed one thing when you try to lit the fire in the, in the wind, you put your hand around it. So at least your hands should be supported and uh, you should try to light the candle and those who are extinguishing the candle, if you can do anything against them, do it. Otherwise, keep quiet and ignore them. And remember, good people are very few, especially in Pakistan, there are just very few good people. So if someone is going to unfollow a good person, that is going to be a lifetime tragedy for that person. Okay, thank you so much.